Hey everyone, it's Jordan from Fish Keeping Made Easy and today I finally got myself a green mandarin goby. The mandarin fish has some amazing colours on it and this is why a lot of beginners and advanced hobbyists want to keep them. They're also a rather inexpensive marine fish, so why do more people not keep this fish? This is mainly due to its unique diet. Basically, this fish will only eat live copepods. Even in a well-established tank, this fish could decimate the population of copepods within a few weeks. So you'll need to regularly add live copepods to the tank to keep this population going. This is easier said than done, as obviously if you have other fish in the tank, they too will eat the copepods. Also, a lot of the copepods won't survive the acclimation from being in the bag to being put into the tank. Not to mention the extra expense of having to buy live copepods all the time. So if this fish can cause all this hassle, why have I bought it? Thankfully, this was a captive bred specimen, which means it was born in captivity. This means it hasn't been living in the wild and just been eating all these little copepods and things. It actually takes frozen foods as that's what it's been fed since it was born. The reason I actually bought it is when I was looking through the store, I actually came across this mandarin eating some frozen mysa shrimp and that basically had my mind set that this little guy was going to be a little bit easier to look after than the average. It's been in this shop for maybe a couple of months now and it's still quite fat which means it is actually eating the frozen foods. So I've had it in my tank now for about a week and it's definitely accepting frozen foods. I've got some live copepods going in as well, so it's getting a nice mixture of the frozen foods and the copepods. But if you watch the behaviour here, you can see that it basically just floats around the tank looking for these copepods. So it's kind of difficult to feed. You have to really kind of, well for me, I have to turn off the filter because any food that floats past its face, it's just not interested in. It literally has to fall in front of it. So I couldn't just solely feed it frozen foods. So that's why I'm doing a mixture of both that and live copepods. But other than the diet, these fish are actually pretty easy to look after. They're very friendly. They just kind of float around the tank with no real care in the world. They're actually relatively hardy and mine just doesn't really seem to be spooked or bothered by anything. So yeah, I've really enjoyed keeping this guy so far. Obviously the challenges haven't finished yet because it's only been in the tank for a week. So hopefully in the next couple of months I'll have more updates because that's when I'll really know the whole sort of copepod and frozen food situation if it's obviously kind of favouring the copepods more than the frozen food. If that's the case, then obviously I'm going to have to try and add in more. So in terms of a tank update, everything's going really well. All the parameters are spot on. However, I do have a little bit of cyanobacteria starting to reappear. And I think I've discovered what the problem is, is I keep using the same watering can for my freshwater tank as I do for the marine tank. So when I'm actually putting in the salt water or the RO water in, I'm kind of contaminating it a little bit with maybe some leftover uh, fresh water that's in it. So I haven't done that for a couple of weeks now and the cyanobacteria is starting to all disappear. There was some on the sand which is kind of more or less gone now um, since this footage was filmed and the wee bits on the rocks are starting to sort of subside a little bit. So in terms of future plans, I'm looking to add a couple more corals in the next couple of weeks. I'm also looking for another fish to add into the tank. So if you have any ideas what you'd want me to add, just let me know. And as always, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.